we're doing our final check-in, right? Mm -hmm. How many check-ins have we had, Kara? This will be the third. Okay, so Kara is from what organization? I am from Yellowbird Birth in Chilliwack, DC. And we did we started off the year in January first with talking about New Year's resolutions. Are they cheesy? And we're on a Facebook Live, so now we are at the infamous Sunday brunch at um, at Bam Springs Hotel. You all know me about my buffets, right? Nathan likes his buffets. <laughs> Okay, so we talked about New Year's resolutions. No, this is actually all hers. Um, so the first tip that we gave on January 1st was actually working towards something that you really, really want. So Kara, um, you didn't really talk about a goal that you kind of announced in the beginning, but have you worked towards something that you really, really wanted this year? Yeah, so uh, this year I actually worked really hard. Um, I lost uh, about 40 pounds. Um, by the summer, and that was really exciting. Um, and that kicked off my surrogacy journey. So I am now four months pregnant, and I am still smaller than I was in, on January 1st. So congratulations. Um, so I'm feeling pretty accomplished for this year. And You're uh, still lighter than when you were. Yeah, that's okay. what I just said. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> I just wanted to check. And then, uh, yeah, so Nathan was supporting my weight loss. And, oh, uh, we're going to talk about that with the accountability partner. Well, okay. this so is the, a short video. This is so. a short video. So the number two thing was making goals specific and measurable. So for me, I actually did announce that I wanted to lose 20 pounds. And not much of that was really started until maybe May. Yeah. And I only had lost 10 pounds in our June check-in. But for me, I made it very measurable and specific. I too have also matched your weight loss in the amount of time and I lost uh, 39 pounds, which is crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, so it was very specific and measurable. Was it hard for you to lose weight? Oh yeah, it took a lot of work. I, I wanted to kill myself and I was pretty much. Doing yoga and Pilates. And what are some of the things that you did? Yoga, Pilates? I was cha it changed my eating. Um, Lifestyle changes. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I just kind of did a Stop lot of going exercise. To Stop going to the face, but you know, interesting enough we're always at the base when we do these check-ins. <laughs> um, you know it's really interesting the final thing was the third thing creating accountability and having an accountability partner or how do you create accountability so for me I would have never really been as successful I think if I didn't actually have you as a accountability partner which was my tool for um, meeting my achievable my specific measurable goals so thank you so much so how did you, how did you create accountability for your for your um, goal, which was also losing weight? <laughs> kind of. Well, no, I think for me it was I just I had a goal and I was determined, so I just kept on it and you know recorded what I was doing and yeah. And it was difficult too. The bumps, happy, sad. But you know, look at us now, we're in November, uh, in the middle of November, we still have time. For me, I haven't met my full goal. I have definitely met the goal I met in January, but so we're always working towards it. I just thought that it's really nice to have a final check-in with you, Kara, from Yellow Bird Birth Doulas. And uh, with Proud Fertility, I'm Nathan Chan, the Managing Director of Proud Fertility, Egg Donation, and Surrogacy. And thank you so much. And also that you're also pregnant, so congratulations to Kara, who's almost, pretty much almost halfway. So signing out from BAM, right from BAM. Is this a proud pick too for all these buffets? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much.